So, just a quick video, um, just all the basically the rainbow fragrances of love. Um, it's that time of year, and it's just my little bit of support for that. Although that support is every day, um, all day. And, uh, any human being deserves to be loved and respected. And yeah, that's basically all I'm going to say about that. So enjoy the little video. So the first colour of the rainbow is red. And uh, could I pick any other fragrance for the red? Of course, it's Rolling in Love from Killian. Which again kind of goes with this rainbow of love idea. It is, um, like I've said many times, I have to be quite brief to fit all these in. It's a beautiful fragrance. Um, it's basically the scent of a, a skin and a beautiful kiss. It's um, got soft white florals, musks. It's just very soft, very enveloping, very beautiful. And maybe it's the red bottle as well, but it does smell a little bit red, a little bit pink. And it's, yeah, it's just a beautiful, soft, sensual fragrance that wraps you in this veil of love. So for red, it's Killian's Rolling in Love. For orange, is um, is a fragrance. Obviously, I've not spoken to about a lot, but it's probably one of the best gourmands there is, and that's Love and Crime from Exodillo. Now, this is basically to me, it's like a, a beautiful, sticky, sweet, very vivid smell in um, orange cake, and it is just absolutely gorgeous. And obviously this will probably go for a love of cake, a love of food, a love of sweet gourmands. But um, smelling this is as good as, well, as near as you can get to actually eating a big fat juicy orange cake, I think. It's just an absolutely gorgeous fragrance. Um, yeah, it's obviously, you know, it's vanilla, citruses, um, and it just, it just create. let's put it this way, it just creates a beautiful orange cake. So for orange, it's Exodillo's Love and Crime. Yellow, this was an easy one, and that is uh, Sarah Baker's Jungle Jezebel, and it was created by Miguel Matos, who was obviously, well, read up the story yourself, because obviously we don't have much time to fit all these in, but it's basically a kind of ode to uh, Let's put it this way, uh, a person who works on a night and um, just, it's actually quite a, you'd have, you'd have to smell it and understand the journey. There's a lot of, uh, starts off with kind of a yellow bubble, banana bubble gum, which is where you kind of get it from. And then it goes a bit more, there's a bit of dankness in it and then it dries down to a beautiful kind of thing. And really, because again, this it is love and it's love of somebody who lives an alternative lifestyle um it's quite a quite a sweet fragrance really quite a well is it a sad story depends how you look at it and it's obviously a nice tribute um but yeah read up on the story because it it's it's interesting and the fragrance definitely does a good ode to that in my opinion it's it's very well made it's unusual it's um divisive some will love it some will hate it um but i, I think it's a great fragrance so for yellow, it is Jungle Jezebel from Sarah Baker. Next up is green. And um, I don't own a lot of green fragrances, I must say. Well, this was a very easy choice because it's probably, it's definitely my favorite green fragrance that I own. And that is uh, Legio X from Centurion Fragrances. It's all about like a, a Roman Centurion's journey through Europe, um, going back home and stuff, exploring new lands and could you get more green and perfect timing than this. Um, it's it's a mixture of tomato leaf, green apple, mint, vetiver, things like that. It's a very smooth one, has the right amount of sweetness. It does have that kind of green smell. It is a lot like this, a kind of um, the way that the grass and everything and the, the, the flowers and the leaves all smell quite sweet. Not overly sweet, but sweet, natural and green. 
and I think that's very much what Legio X embodies. So for green, that's Legio X from Centurion Fragrance. Blue is <laughs> a tricky one for me, and the name um, perhaps makes it, you'd think, inappropriate, but it is a very blue fragrance. And that is Mr. Burberry um, Indigo from Burberry. Now, it smells blue to me. But it's, it's, um, it's a bit like the Mr. Burberry's. It's kind of this semi-aquatic, beautiful kind of sweet. It is mass appealing. Touches of the, the kind of herbaceous touches. Um, yeah, it smells. It smells fairly blue. There's a lot of differences in it. It's not quite generic, but it's... They've, they've put a twist on it, let's put it that way. And it's got a um, little tiny touch of mint through it, which I think makes it stand out. It's it's all in all, it's a very pleasant, easy wear. And it certainly does smell blue. So for blue, is Mr. Burberry Indigo from Burberry. For Indigo, um, an easy one actually. And uh, obviously I like to talk about um, kind of lesser known brands and lesser bigger brands although I think in a year or so this will be this will be a brand everyone knows about but that's from uh, April Aromatics and it's Purple Rain I mean no prizes for guessing what it smells like it's got um, a lot of purple beautiful purple florals in it um, there's violet and um, lilac I th um, which is the most dominant they both do their job, but it does, it kind of, in the end, it's more more of a light, washed, vi it's, it's just beautiful, it smells of purple, but it smells of purple in a very natural way, in a very kind of, you're smelling purple flowers rather than, you know, a kind of synthetic, sweet, purple touch to it. And I think this is, this is for all us purple lovers out there, beautiful colour. Um, and I, I think purple's quite a... Obviously it represents royalty because of how hard it was. Anyway, I'm going off on one, I don't have time. But it's it's a very kind of sensual colour, isn't it? And obviously with my kind of gothy leanings, it's that kind of dark, mysterious... Not, you know, it's... It just, it, it conjures that image, doesn't it? Of um, kind of blacks and and purples and it's it's quite a beautiful the fragrance is lovely anyway so purple rain from april aromatics and finally in the rainbow thing we all know is is violet violet from the the house of maison violet i see is a uh, that's a uh, from um, maison violet or purple autumn as it's much easier to say and that is um yeah as you'd expect it's, it's representative of a purple autumn it's iris and violet which kind of makes it even more purple um it's not again it's not just a straight up kind of makeup y fragrance it's got a nice mix of both sort of florals most dominant through there are other aspects but it smells uh, smells very warm, very inviting, and because of that iris violet kind of association we have, again it could it does make you think again of of kissing and stuff because of the slight makeup hint. Although I wouldn't again say it's overly makeupy, but that kind of powdered makeup it does take you to that feeling, and I think it's a it's a beautiful fragrance. And very well suited to purple, so that's <coughs> from Maison Violet, Violet, and representing purple. Right, thanks, folks. So yeah, this is a, a kind of um, very short video for me, and I didn't want to say a lot because we all know what it's about, really, and um, we all should support this. And th the world hasn't changed enough, is is my bottom line. I mean, you don't you don't choose your sexuality, your gender, and who you think you are. So I think I used lifestyle choice before. I wasn't referring to that in in terms of section sexuality and identity. We are who we are, and, and everyone should accept that. But the way we live our lives is, of course, up to us as well. But 
do, do you know what I mean? Why, why, are we, why is this an issue now? And it is because things haven't changed. Um, whilst looking, I did a reel, and whilst looking for clips uh, for the reel, I found it difficult to find stuff like popular culture stuff with same-sex relationships. Very difficult to find it, especially regarding um, two women relationships and that, because a lot of the images are gratuitous. That's not that's not what it's about. It's about love and and whatever. It's not about oh well, whatever. I'm not going to go on a rant about it. And also finding trans relationships and and uh, f fluid gender p uh, famous people, etc. Is it was was not easy. And it's why. Why is it not easy? I mean, this is the world we live in now and people should be free to be who they want to be and they should be represented more in the media and in stuff because ultimately that's what shapes the way the masses think, isn't it? But anyway, that's my rant. Um, not not going to go into it. I mean, everyone's entitled to their own views and opinions. But I don't understand how anybody could have any issues with people just being who they want to be and loving who they want to love but yes all right thank you bye